Probably the most famous archaeological site in the world is the Giza Plateau, just west of modern Cairo. Here was the main burial ground of the pharaohs of Dynasty IV, Khufu, Khafre, and Menkaure. We see the pyramids in order from right to left, the largest pyramid of Khufu, the Great Pyramid, and then in the middle, the Pyramid of Khafre, built on higher ground, but actually shorter than the Great Pyramid, and then finally the smallest complex belonging to Menkaure, whose lowest courses were cased in granite, not in limestone. Each pyramid is actually part of a complex with many portions. The pyramid itself, the burial place of the pharaoh, and then on the east side, a pyramid temple, connected to a long causeway marching eastwards and ending down by the harbor in a valley temple. These temples were used for the burial process and in various reenactment rituals meant to bring the spirit of the deceased pharaoh back to life. And after the funeral, the temples were in full swing with a complement of priests, administrators, scribes, and various lands that were meant to produce produce for the king's cult and offerings for various rituals. We are still understanding the precise purpose of these temples and how they functioned. Surrounding the royal pyramid complexes are mastaba fields, or areas with superstructures and burial shafts belonging to the elites of the Old Kingdom in the 3rd millennium BCE. On the eastern side of Khufu's Great Pyramid, for example, is the East Cemetery, with three subsidiary Queen's Pyramids, and then a series of great twin mastabas belonging to members of the royal family. On the west side of the Great Pyramid are even more mastaba tombs. They seem to have developed from far west to closer to the east, closer to the royal pyramid itself. They date to the 4th, 5th, and even into the 6th dynasties. The quarry area, known as the Central Field, is located between Khafre's Causeway and Menkaure's Causeway. This was the source of most of the limestone blocks that went into the core of Khufu's Great Pyramid. Once his pyramid was complete, this area served as another cemetery and was filled in with mastaba tombs and rock-cut burial chambers. Towards the east of this central field area is a large mastaba-like pyramid known as the Pyramid of Queen Kenet Kawas. Her relationship to Menkaure and her role towards the end of Dynasty IV and the beginning of Dynasty V is still under investigation. The harbors and the ancient course of the Nile and canals are one of the most fascinating subjects in studying Giza. They will help us to understand the layout, the landscape, the decisions the ancient Egyptian architects made in terms of where to place their various temples and causeways, what was on low ground, what was on high ground, and eventually reconstructing the geology and the landscape of the necropolis will give us many clues into ancient Egyptian mortuary practices.